Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name is Aaron, and today I'm playing some Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies. You might be thinking, what are you doing? What is this? You've probably already clicked away from the video, gave it a dislike, commented some hateful thing, and went on about your day. But if you're still here, hear me out. So, first of all, I just want to let you know the reason why I'm playing this, and I haven't been playing a lot of Black Ops 3. Lately, I say that loosely, but whenever I made this video, and that was because the Panzers just got on Tyler and I's nerves so much that we decided to play Advanced Warfare. That should tell you something. I don't know what it is. Now that we have the new gumball system, it seems like we're fine. We've done a couple of solos, and we're going to keep doing it, and hopefully I can get a 100 on this map. That's really what I'm aiming for. I think I can do it. It's one of those maps where once I do get a 100, I'm going to end up having to quit. Like I'm just going to exit the game. And I want to see if I can do it a 100 no down challenge. But I just need to get a 100 first and then I can worry about no downs if you know what I mean. So what this video is about is I want to talk about Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies because it's really the only closest thing we have to Treyarch Zombies. And as you guys know next year Infinity Ward that did not make this, let me get that clear, but we're not going to have zombies. And I just want to, I want to take a moment to look back at what we left behind before we got Black Ops 3 Zombies. So... Let's talk about the things that Sledgehammer Games with Advanced Warfare did right. And I'm going to go right in and say the Wonder Weapons. I think the Wonder Weapons are amazing. I know they're not the strongest. And I know it's not like always a one-hit kill like it is in Black Ops 3. But I think the ideas of what the Wonder Weapons do are very creative. Like this gun's like a microwave gun. I know we've seen it before with the Paralyzer. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a little close to the Paralyzer, I'll give it that. But the other guns, like being able to shoot the line and being able to shoot the ball and this L3 Cauterizer is kind of like the ray gun of this era. But, you know, it, it's, it's okay. I, I like the Wonder Weapons. I think they did an amazing job with it. But next up, bosses. I personally think Black Ops 3 got its idea for its bosses from this game, from making them as strong as they are, because if you look back to Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, the bosses were a joke. You just killed them and you went on with your game, but now they've truly stepped their game up, and I think it's because they've played this game, because the bosses in this game are ridiculously tough. Just, wow. It's, it's pretty crazy, but I think they did a really good job on the bosses. Next up are the drops that you get. I think the drops are... Drops are neat. I mean, it's the same thing as you get in uh, Black Ops 3 or Treyarch Zombies, just with a different name. But in this game, you get care packages as well that helps you out with the zombies. Not too much, but it's kind of like an extra trap. Next up is the upgrade system. I think it's wonderful being able to upgrade your weapon 20 times, get ammo for all 20 times. And if you do the Easter egg, which is the next step, I think the Easter eggs are really, really fun. It's just something else you can do to, you know, get yourself five extra levels on your gun and just turn it into that much more of a beast. But I digress. It's good in general. The Easter egg and the upgrading of weapons, nice. It's a good system. The next thing I want to talk about, and I guess the last two things, are the maps. The maps are amazing. They all flow together really well, and they're just fun. You know, there's... And there's a different section, there's a different map for everyone, I think. I like them a lot, and that's just my opinion. Next up are the lethal and tacticals. I love the impact grenades. It's kind of like having sallies. You just spray it at, your gr at the ground and you're good. You know, they have monkeys. And they have a little biodome thing, which are really cool too. But here comes the wrong. And I'm just going to go go ahead and say that the exosuits ruin it for me. If this was boots on the ground, zombies were on the ground... This would be an amazing, like, next level. People would still be playing this if it was just boots on the ground. I think that's the one thing they ruined in this. And if they would have fixed it, it would have been much, much better. Next up, weak guns. I mean, all the guns in this game, I haven't played to too many high rounds. But there has to be a time where it just stops working. Like, because I can already tell, like, a level 20 Wonder Weapon on this map isn't that good you know it's good but it's not as a level 20 wonder weapon should on the 20s you know what i mean so and the last thing is i think they added way way too many of those electric zombies and you get exo that is the worst feeling in the world whenever you lose your exo suit so bad i just i wish they would take it away uh but 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit of advanced warfare, a little bit of a break from custom zombies and Black Ops 3 zombies. So leave me a thumbs up if you like this. Tell me what you think of this video. Tell me if you want to see a little bit more of advanced warfare or you just want me to keep it in my rear view. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron. Peace.